taking power and speed to the extreme, this is the new Gamma 405 paddle. The Gamma 405 features a slightly elongated construction with a textured graphite hitting surface and a Sensa core technology, a one half inch thick polymer core. The core and surface work in tandem to create a responsive, comfortable feel on contact. Averaging in at a weight of 7.6 ounces, this paddle feels quick in hand for lightning fast reactions and easy spin manipulation. And with a slightly raised sweet spot and an elongated five and a quarter inch handle length, swinging volleys are met with explosive power. I've hit with several paddles within the Gamma family with the Gamma Legend being my paddle of choice for a while. And then I tested out the 505 for a bit before jumping into this 405 play test. And the 405 is definitely my new favorite of the bunch. The construction of this paddle is very similar to that of the 505 with the 405 featuring Sensacore technology. So the core thickness is a little bit thinner than that of the 505. And for me, that equated to just a slightly more responsive feel. I got a little bit more pop off the face of the paddle and that just equated to getting a little bit easier access to power and very controlled power at that. So I felt confident swinging through my strokes. It has that elongated shape and elongated handle. So the sweet spot sits up a little bit higher in the frame and it just catered really well to my two-handed backhand, gave me some really nice pop on my swinging volleys as well as on my serves. But my favorite shot to hit with this paddle was the serve return. Returning serves, I found that I could really hit an awesome slice return. I could just cut through the ball really nicely, get the balls moving through the court in a controlled manner, but some, with some really gnarly slice on them. So I really enjoyed returning with the paddle. It felt really light in hand. So aside from slice, I could also manipulate other spins on the ball. And I found it to be an important part of the play test as the paddle does feel very soft and muted on contact. So I really need to be intentional in how I swung through the ball. Um, at times, if I was hitting my third shot, drop or hitting a drive and I wasn't putting spin on it, the ball could get a little bit flighty, the balls would fly up a little bit higher than intended. So I really needed to be intentional with my shots, manipulate spin on the ball, and then I could keep the balls better on target and get the best consistency out of the paddle. Overall, this paddle was really easy to transition into from my, my paddle of choice. It offers a nice, soft, comfortable nature. And for me, it offered a really nice blend of power and control. After a little bit of hitting with the Gamma 405, initially I thought it was gonna be a little bit light for me. Uh, down at that 7.6, I usually like to be around an 8.1 ounce range. Um, but I did notice that for a light paddle, this one was incredibly fast and it still had a good amount of power, uh, which generally I'll benefit from with those heavier paddles. One thing I do wanna mention uh, if for a takeaway is this is a very good paddle for singles and doubles. It was one of the only ones I really feel comfortable with all around the court in doubles or singles play. Uh, and the fact of that is that it's just, it's a thinner 13 millimeter core, which is gonna provide a lot of power, which I noticed, uh, but it still felt very fast. So I had no issues up at the net in doubles. If I was trying to get a little bit more touch, I could dial that in as well. Um, so the core still, even though it is thinner, still has a softer feel, um, but it still has some nice response too. So you know when you're making contact well with the ball and you know where it's gonna go. Uh, so just overall, very versatile for singles or doubles. Um, I noticed with the combination of the graphite face as well and that fast swinging paddle, it did have a lot of pop. So I was able to dial in spin, maybe not necessarily because it's super texture, but more so of the fact that it's just, it's easy to whip through the ball with this paddle here in conjunction with that fast um, and powerful graphite surface. Uh, really overall, I also like the fact that it has two different color combinations you can go with here. Um, my personal preference is this clean looking white, gray, and black, uh, but the other color option is nice as well. Um, so just overall, this is a paddle that is super versatile for pretty much all skill levels, all types of players um, that I think everybody could benefit from. And I really would just recommend trying this out with your favorite paddle and see if this one could work well if you're playing singles or doubles for the tournament. That concludes our review of the Gamma 405. For more information on this paddle and many others, be sure to check us out at TotalPickleball.com. Thanks for watching.